So you guys didn't ask about this, but because it's a project that I'm working on and because I think in some ways it might be more important um, than any of the books, not any, not more important, but might be more effective in some ways than any of the books that I've written, if it works well, um, I thought I would just tell you about what I'm trying to do, the project that I'm working on right now. Um, because rather than a next book, uh, I've been handed this commission to write a poem, and that seems like, to me, it seems like this huge project chunk that, uh, even though it's not necessarily going to be in book form, it might be in some kind of electronic form in the end, or it might take many forms. Um, I thought I'd tell you about it. The uh, website that shows you um, the questions and like all of the meetings that are happening across the country um, to ask Canadians to think ahead to Canada's 150th birthday uh, is at um, www.2017startsnow.ca and you can go there to 2017startsnow.ca and see see the inter the conferences that are happening and understand that these guys who are putting on these these conferences and trying to talk to Canadians from a whole bunch of different kinds of work have asked me to go around with them and talk to Canadians in every city and write about what I learn about what Canadians think we should do for our 150th uh, birthday. And also, at the end of it, the commission is for me to write a poem that I will present to uh, some senior leaders, some senior government people, um, senior like directors of national organizations and things like that, people, things like that, people like that. Um, in Ottawa on June 27th. So I think it's a huge project, a bit of a responsibility to try and make a piece of art, or make a poem that somehow captures talking to Canadians across the country for two months about not just the birthday, right? Like the birthday is a good, is a good reason to talk about, well, what are we celebrating? If we celebrate our birthday, 150 in of 150 years of Canada um, what does that mean I mean we were confederated in 1867 if you if you're taking history you probably will have learned that uh, that Canada became a country in 1867 so that's what we would be celebrating but of course the history of this place that we live in is uh, much longer like the stories go back much farther then 1867, the people who have been on the land that we call Canada, uh, there have been people here for many thousands of years. Europeans only got here like 400 years ago. Um, and so part of asking Canadians about what to do for our birthday ends up being a question about what do, what do you like about being Canadian? What should we celebrate about being a citizen of this particular country as opposed to any other country? Um, and what what values do we have? Because if the country throws a big birthday party for itself, you know, it could be, yeah, it could be the equivalent of going and planting trees for your birthday, or it could be the equivalent of going to the mall and, like, eating a bunch of ice cream and buying the most expensive pair of shoes. Like, how you celebrate your birthday says something about who you are. So one thing that, that we really would love is to get the feedback of high school students. So, you know, Niam and Alicia, if you uh, care to and you want to talk to your fellow students about about me at, telling you about this project and asking you for your input, uh, I'd really appreciate that. Like, I'd love it if, if you guys um, tweet me or get in touch with me and just any ideas that you have about um, what young people want to see. Like, how would you like it? How would you like uh, something to happen around Mal at Malvern or like in your city um, for Canada's birthday besides like the usual, besides fireworks, besides like a picnic in the park or a festival in the park. If you have ideas, I'd love to hear them. Um, so the, pro the poetry project uh, 
that I'm doing that I want to ask you and uh, other people to help me think about, um, I'm trying to use Twitter to solicit those ideas. So there's a hashtag that I'm using, or two hashtags, one for English, one for French. So in English, the hashtag is 2017 poem, and in French, c'est Diaz 2017 poem, P O E accent grave M E. And so you can feel free to tweet me if you go and you search the hashtag. You'll see a little bit, a little bit of some of the activity that's been going on with that hashtag. But I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to figure out how to get people to care enough to contribute to my poem. So uh, I, I invite you to, um, to contribute, and I know that you'll probably be out of school by June 27th, but um, if you want to follow along uh, at, oh, at my blog, where it's the last thing, that this whole thing, this whole project, when I talk to Canadians and go to different cities, I write about it. So you can uh, check out the blog too, and that's at Canada150blog.com. Yeah, so Canada150.com uh, gives you a little bit of an idea of what I'm up to. So, as a poet, I mean, to bring it back to talking to you as a writer, uh, Artists have the opportunity sometimes to say more. Um, well, they always have the opportunity, but you know, sometimes greater opportunities than others. To say something about the country or to say something about identities that we share. So rather than just talking about my personal feelings and writing about the breakup that, you know, is still on my mind or like my sadness over some a family member's dying or something like that, all of which make awesome poetry. Um, there's, there's often a chance to go beyond the personal and speak to my community, speak to my city, and in this case, speak to my country. So um, I guess what I'd leave you with is um, to think of me, I guess, as somebody who's really interested in asking about the idea of Canada and the story of Canada and who, whose idea was it to like name this place Canada and is that idea, of, is that idea, is that still the same idea that holds us all together? Like was the idea that the founding fathers had in Charlottetown in uh, 1864 when they started talking about it and then finally confederated in 1867 is what they had on their mind the same thing that holds us together now you know what what do we share all with each other and you know sometimes art is one of the best ways music too um, art and literature and music can really help us have that shared feeling of what we love about living together and working with each other and being in the same place uh, together. So it's a long, a uh, little bit rambly discussion of what I'm up to, but there you go. <laughs>